What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another episode of the Sault Ste. Marie Snow Franchise Mode for NHL 22. If you haven't already, scroll down, hit that like button. And in this one, we're taking on the terrible Arizona Coyotes, but we haven't been all that much better ourselves. We won our last couple of games in the simulation, but other than that, it has kind of been an up and down ride for the last little while. We still got a pretty decent record, though, at 34, 18, and 2, still led by the great and powerful Rylan Austin. So here we go. We are going to do three games in this one, all from the start of the third period, so we can kind of keep the length of these down going forward. We're going to get well past the trade deadline. one nothing Arizona. Jesus, shots 14-5. to 3-1. to one. <laughs> Shots are 25-10. to 10. Cameron Westgard gets our only goal. My goodness. I'll see you on the ice. All right, so here we go. I guess we're playing from behind again against the much worse than us Arizona Coyotes here at Arizona Arena in Glendale, Arizona, taking on the Arizona Arizonas yet again. And Dylan Gunther takes it right off the hop into the Sault Ste. Marie snow zone. Boom! Lay down, Dill. Here we go. Up to Brosif. Brosif come through the neutral zone, gets it up to Captain Jermaine Trotter. He's got the wheels cut in the middle. Oh, it goes off the leg of kang Kangaroo Man there. Up to Gallant. Gallant takes it through the neutral zone, and D uh, Dale Joseph with a great move to cut him off and then throws it away to Gallant again, and Yuha Yokella's got to back off towards his own net. What we got, baby? Brosif? Ay, 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 that's a penalty. What? No call. You got to be joking. He hit me 36 times. <laughs> By the time he was done hitting me, I was like 75 feet away from the puck. Like, come on. Booze, can't do anything with that. What a move by Jermaine Trotter. Big poke check. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, back within one and... Oh, my God, what a save. Can we get it across? Oh, no, that pass did not go exactly where I wanted it to. The defenseman off the ice, Timu Curry, backing off, trying to get back into position. And a nice stop by the very, very struggling Julius Burke. Won the Vesna Trophy last year. Um... Pretty sure he won the Vesna Trophy two years in a row, didn't he? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he won back-to-back -back Vesnas. And now this year, it's like, I don't even think he's in the top ten. It has been a brutal year. It's like, the worse our defense was, the better he played. Here we go. Rylan Austin, trying to get around his man. Can't do it. Willie Wallinder, bird watching as usual. There you go. Picks that one up back in his own zone. Gets it to Rylan Austin. Now we got to go for line three. Get it across to Timu Curry. We're backing off here. What do we got? Timu Curry? Just take it. Just take it. Oh my god, I got crunched on the boards though. And there goes Fairchild Grolo with a great pickoff, but then he is incapable of skating after around the net. Get that one back to the point. Timu Curry, back to you. Grolo. Woo! Has a little trouble hanging on to that one. Let's go. No. Back to Wallinder. Back to Curry. Tried to get it deep to Tate Lock, who does get that stick lift in there, but it just kind of goes around behind the net. Fairchild, given caught a heck of a <laughs> struggle here. What a pass by Vero, um, what's his name? <laughs> Vero or something? Yeah, it's something like that. Over to Yuri Turikov, facing the wrong way. <laughs> Back it off to Grolo. Grolo, cut into the middle. Oh, my goodness. And he got, like, thrown across the universe right there, man. We were having, like, so much trouble. Just just trying to get close enough to get a shot on. Oh, that's got to be called back. What? Dude, he was, like, inside my goaltender when he put that puck in the net. <laughs> Adam Rizicka just got away with murder. Look at this. He's, like, in Julius Burke. <laughs> How does that not get called back? You gotta be joking. It's four to one for Arizona. Wow. That was a bad call, ref. Bad call. Adam Ruzichka with goal number 11 on the season, assisted by Michael Rasmussen. I'm assuming it's some kind of Rasmussen. Brett Leeson. Ooh, he fumbles it, but he's a beast, so he gets her back. We're gonna back off here, get her over to Garrett Sterling. Ooh, who almost gets knocked around at the blue line. We're still in. I, I said low shot on net, but. It's fine. Miles Rintoul backed off into his own zone. Whoa, gets it over to Yuha Yokella, who does get it out of his own end. Up to Jermaine Trotter. Trotter, Trotter. Whoa, big shot, Agostini with a good glove save. You wanna go? Oh, baby, he does. I don't know if Jermaine Trotter has like ever fought before. <laughs> like, I honestly don't know. So here we go, Trotter. I think he has like 50 fighting skills. So let's see what we can do. All right, dodge. 
Oh, and he dodged me. Damn, the uppercut. Oh my god, he's ca- Oh my god, he's spamming me. Jesus. Hensick. Oh, you're nasty. <laughs> Trotter hasn't got like a single punch off yet. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's start dropping him down. Whoop boom. There you go. Oh, he got me. I'm one shot away. Oh, that was a quick uppercut. He got me with a quick one there. That was like a snapshot to the jaw. Oh, man. So, you know what? All right. Good effort. Jermaine Trotter, captain of the team, just trying to get his boys into her a little bit. He's like, we're down by three in the third period. Less than 10 minutes to go. We got to do something. So, let's try and figure it out. Nicholas McGratton on that offensive zone faceoff does get the win. Back to Rintoul to Yokella. Yokella through traffic, and Nicholas McGratton can't pick it up, but Rylan Austin does get there. Yuha Yokella back around behind to Nicholas McGratton. Bros, oh my goodness, what are you idiots doing? Jesus. <laughs> Gets her deep to Rylan Austin. Oh, baby, here we go, right in front. Oh, loses it, Nick McGratton. Oh, <laughs> I should have shot. I, like, freaked, and I passed instead of shooting in Kangarudov. Ah, oh, brings this one down the ice for Arizona. Weird little flick shot there. Boom! Get off this thing. Miles Rintoul says, go away, buddy. Kangarudov gets it to Booz, throws that one wide, far side. Genther gets it around the net. Booz loses that one. c -Mac gives it right back to him. Gallant gets it taken off him by Rylan Austin. And here we go. Cameron Westgarth gets it across to Cameron McDonald. Rush in, rush in, rush in. Come on, get around him. And oh, baby, that's what we needed. Did that say 28? <laughs> Oh my God, Cameron McDonald with his 28th goal of the season in the, uh, what are we at, 56th game or something like that. So we're, we're just over two-thirds of the way through the season, and he's got 28. So that's not that bad. I do believe he's going to lead this team in goals again by the end of the season. Probably gets a little over 40. Let's get ourselves a thumbnail. All right, Tate Lock, nice face-off. Win back to Garrett Sterling. Two and a half minutes to go, still down by two. Let's see what we can accomplish here. Maxime Grolo, oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, he still got it. That was a weird little shot. Tate Lock says, but, oh, Vero. And he, I'm pretty sure Vero is, like, not a big guy. I think he's a little guy, like a super little guy. Here's Yuri Turikov backing off towards his own net, gets it back to Wall, who just must have, like, really EA-ified attributes because every time he touches the puck it's just like hopping around on his stick oh kind of like that jesus that's not who i passed to either oh my god grow <laughs> nobody can hold this thing all right we're going top line top pairing jeez and crow turn around no we're gonna get tied it's all right man it's all right brosif stole it lost it stole it lost it rasmussen okay sterling off the ice immediately schneider loses that one what do we got rasmussen Poof, get knocked can't take it off of Schneider. He fumbles it. Look at Nick McGratton. The future, baby. The future. Here we go. Jermaine Trotter. That one hits a leg. And Lewis is taking that one out of his own zone up to Rosichka. Coming down on Miles Rintoul. He goes for the big shot. And that one threw Julius Burke on his keister. But it did not enter the net. McGratton. Holy. Yeah, we're trying to lose. We are trying to lose this game, I tell you. All right, Rasmussen gets that one knocked off him by Rintoul. Trotter leaves it behind again. Lewis takes the hit. Rasmussen, big save by Berkey. There's 10 seconds left. I'm just going to throw it out there and say this one's over. McGratton to Brosif. Gets open. Nice shot. Nice stop. Four seconds. Over to Rintoul. Massive shot. This game's over. Big time. Four to two loss to the Arizona Coyotes in a win we didn't necessarily need, but you need all of them. You know what I mean? It's like we're in a good spot in the standings, but you need every win. So we went 0 for 5 on the power play. They went 2 for 3. That is not good at all. <laughs> in the first, we outshot them 14 to 5. In the second, 11 to 5. But in the third, they outshot us 10 to 6. I don't like it. We got two goals in this game. The first one was Cameron Westgarth with his 19th by Miles Rintoul and Garrett Sterling. And in the third, Cameron McDonald got his 28th by Cameron Westgarth and Rylan Austin. So I'll see you guys back at the menu where we got three games to simulate. All right, so um, it's advanced day. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think we're going to give Julius Burke a break for a little bit because he has been playing very poorly as of late. We got three games to simulate, and I'm thinking a couple of them. We're probably going to play Caden Primo, give Julius Burke a little break. I mean, Caden Primo's kind of been the better goalie anyway. So here we go, up against the Carolina Hurricanes 
in the first of three sim games. And look at this, 2 nothing after one. Grolo and Curry, shots 10-9 to Carolina. In the second period, it's still 2 nothing. Shots 24-20 to for Carolina. So here we go, what do we got, baby? 3-1 to victory, Tate Lock gets an empty net goal, shots 37-26 to for Carolina. So Caden Primo comes up huge. Timu Curry by Tate Lock and Maxime Grolo. Maxime Grolo by Tate Lock and Tate Lock by Timu Curry. So this was a second pairing, third line kind of game. <laughs> they got every point for this team up against the Carolina Hurricanes. Freddie Jensen has been injured with a mile. That's fine. It's fine. Sudbury. Oh, no. <laughs> Caden Primo's injured. Oh, come on. Come on. So who are we going to take? Wienerberger or Binder Dundas? Dundas because he has no waivers. That's who we want. All right. So let's go to edit NHL lines. Let's put, and you know what? We're going to play him. Dundas. We're going to play his him in his first National Hockey League game. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I fixed these guys now. All right. So Dundas up against the 1931 and five Smashville Predators is about to play in his very first game in the National Hockey League for the Sault Ste. Marie Snow. Well, Caden Primo is injured because of course he is. So after one, it's one nothing. Dale Joseph gets it. Shots are 14 to nine. Dundas holding his own in the second period. Three to one Sault Ste. Marie. It's Yuri Turikov and Nicholas McGratton. Now we're out shooting Smashville. And in the third, 29 shots against, but he only allows two goals. My guy Dundas wins his first NHL game. Dale Joseph with 25 by Nick McGratton and Jermaine Trotter. Yuri Turikov with just his second of the year by Nick McGratton and Jermaine Trotter. Nick McGratton by Dale Joseph and Timu Curry gets the third and final goal for the Sault St. Marie Snow. Another much needed win. So I don't know. It all depends on who we're facing now. The 25, 24, and 7. Tampa Bay Lightning will hit best lines. I think it's time to put Julius Burke back in the net. He's had a couple of nights off here. You know, he's 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 had a little bit of a rest, a little breaky poo. So we're going to uh, probably yeah yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna see how he does now that he's had a couple games off. Maybe that will trigger him to be the ninety overall two-time Vesna Trophy winning goddamn goaltender that we signed to a monster contract. And look at this, two to one after one. Nick McGratton and Ryland Austin get the goals, but he only faced six shots and he allowed a goal. Oof. Okay, four to two. Less bad. <laughs> Timu Curry and Yokella get the two goal. You are uh, Yokella. Yeah, there you go. And a five to two. Yuri Turikov gets his third goal of the season. Facing 30 shots, Julius Burke looked like Julius Burke. Ryland Austin with number 12 by Wes Garth and McDonald. After Nick, <laughs> Nick McGratton with number 18 by Brosif and Trotter. Yokella with number three by Brosif and Trotter. Curry by Trotter and Nick McGratton and Yurikov, Turikov by Trotter and Cameron McDonald. It's early in the morning and I don't know how to speak yet. So there you go. Julius Burke comes back in a big way. Jermaine Trotter has maybe his best game of the season with a big four assist night. One that we definitely needed and a huge five to two victory over the Tampa Lightning. Okay, what is it? My, oh my God, Miles Rintoul now. Jesus. So are we going to put Wally? No, that doesn't really work, does it? It's because Yokella doesn't really fit there, right? So who do you want to put up there? Sterling? To maybe Timu Curry or Garrett Sterling? I don't know. The thing is, in this, uh, we got Spencer Tam down here. That The problem with this game too, right, is that this is not accurate. Like the minus one and the minus, what was it, minus two? Yeah, that's not actually accurate. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So you see, now watch. Caden Primo is available to play in the team's next game. So I'm going to put him back as the backup. So we're going to scratch Dundas. And we're going to put Caden Primo back in there as the backup. And just for shits and giggles, let's look at the, the defense, where now it'll be a little more accurate. You know what? Maybe we'll go with Timu Curry up there. Put Walinder and Sterling down on that second pairing. I don't like it, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? So now we are going to be jumping in to the third period here against the Edmonton Oilers. But it's going to be interesting to see what kind of a score we got when we're going into it, because now our defense is greatly diminished. Robertson scores. It's one nothing. Edmonton shots 12-7 to for us. 
after the second. Still one to nothing, but we're still heavily out shooting the Edmonton Oilers. So let's see if we can come back in this one. So with the injury to Miles Rintoul, our defense has dropped back into the 80s. Not what you want to see, but a very aging Edmonton Oilers team shouldn't be too hard to score against. Here we go. Nicholas McGratton gets that one over to Timu Curry. Having his way on the first pairing for the first time in his career. And here's Nick McGratton. Gets it over to Jermaine Trotter. No, we just couldn't sneak in there. Yuha Yokella. We got to get that one back to Trotter. Trotter's got the wheels. Here we go. Cutting in front. Big shot. Nice stop by Ottinger. Wow, they got Otter in that. Okay. Okay. I can dig it. Can you imagine the Edmonton Oilers if they had Jake Ottinger? <laughs> like that is like no shade thrown at Jack Campbell, you know? <laughs> but I mean, like, Otter's such an up-and-comer. Like, he could be so gross. He was in the playoffs. I mean, Otter was the man. There's Dubé. Dubé can't get the shot off, and Exelby does. Yuri Turikov gets knocked around with that one. Gets that puck back, and here we go, baby. We're killing a penalty, but we're in the third, and we are losing the game. So let's back off. Yuri Turikov, you going to find someone? No. Oh, my. Where is everybody? Tate Lock can't skate now. Nice stick lift, and uh, Turikov does get it back again. So let's go around behind the net. Around behind the net. Nobody's open. Can't get the shot off. Tate Lock steals that one away. Still shorthanded. Look at all this time we're killing. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm just fumbling the thing now. Back to the point. Yokella to Turikov. Turikov, low shot on net. Look at this. We killed, like, all of this all of this penalty. Hodges bringing that one down on Yuha Yokella. We almost got her lick now, man. Right in front of Dubé. Dubé, woo, through traffic. I don't like those ones. Broussard, get off this thing. Oh, we got her back. We got her back. Oh, you got to start moving, buddy. Here we go. Tate Lock. Oh, God, do I hate when that happens. So what do we got now? You know what? We got to go to line one, pairing to Tate Lock. Kill that clock. Kicks it back to the point. Jermaine Trotter keeps it in, and he's flying. Tate Lock. Oh, my God. He scores. What a quick release. I think that is a career high in goals for Mr. Tate Lock. I swear to God, that's like a career high in goals for Tate Lock. 11th of the season. That's what happens when you give this guy the A and put him on the third line instead of the fourth. You've earned it, my friend. <laughs> Love Tate Lock. So, 1-1 one, one tie now, assisted by Jermaine Trotter and Martin Cott. Rylan Austin almost takes that one away from Solani. And McDavid bringing it in to our zone, but we steal it back away, and Cameron Westgart's got it. Just whip, woo, that one took a funky bounce. And no one can get there. No, oh, Soderstrom steals it away. C-Mac loses that one. Sterling, you, you need some wheels, buddy. I almost promise you McJesus doesn't have wheels anymore. He's only 86. He went from like 98 overall to 86. I'm sure some of that is speed. C-Mac with a low shot on net, and Westgarth is going to be able to get there first. What a great little poke jack, eh? like that, don't you? All right, here we go. Rylan Austin back around the net. Now we're going to cut in front. Oh, just wouldn't let me get the backhander off, though. That would have been like a sure goal. We got to get that fourth line out, and here comes Licht. Licked, gets it in front of Solani, and a big glove save by Julius Burke, bailing his boys out. Veselainen couldn't do anything with that one, and Curtis Chapman getting tied up along in his own zone, and Yuri Turikov to Spencer Tam. Spencer Tam gets it up to my guy, Brett Leeson, baby. Leeson, that might have been a bad idea. All right, here we go. Curtis Chapman, drop pass to Brandon Lamb. Oh, you just move so much quicker than you're moving. Here we go. Back to Spencer Tam again. Weird little shot. I think that might have hit a, the stick of... Vezalainen, I think. I think that's who number 93 is. I think it's Vezalainen. I think it hit his stick and went, like, straight up. But it took a funky little bounce, and Ottinger had to be pretty sharp to save that one. So here we go. Nick McGratton in the offensive zone gets the face-off win. And Timu Curry turning back. Where are we going, baby? Back over to Yuha. Yuha. Oh, my goodness, man. It's like, they're so aggressive. It's the playoff push, right? So everyone's, like, hyper-aggressive. Trotter. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, Thompson, probably Lassie Thompson, was very quick on that one. Timu Curry, Timu Curry, back and off, and Yokella gives it to Burke. All right, back to you, Curry. Let's get this one out of our own zone. Back around behind the net, get it to Jermaine Trotter because wheels. Oh, look at this guy, Brosif, way up the ice. Come on, get around your man, get around your man. Cut in front over to Nick McGratton, big save. Hodges almost loses that one, but he is able to hold off. Nicholas McGratton's stick there. Hodges gets it up to Axelby. I think it's Dalton Exelby, something like that. It, it, it just said his name like a minute ago, and now I can't think of it. 
McGratton, back to Yokella. Yokella, bad pass. Robertson picks that one off because, of course, he does. And now he dumps her down the ice. Here we go. Seven and a half to go. Got to get that second line out there. But for right now, oh, get out of the damn way. Garrett Sterling, get that one out of your own zone, baby. Marty caught. Oh, nice backhand feed to Maxime Grolo with a big shot just high and wide from that top shelf far side. Gets, oh, my God. <laughs> Willie. All the defense on this team, they just watch it go by them every time. That puck was, like, so close to your stick, and you just watched it go by. <laughs> Damn. All right, here we go. Solani gets that one up to Connie, but he can't get a shot off because Garrett Sterling has a good stick. Rolo oh, having a little trouble with that one. Getting her through the neutral zone. Where are we going? We got to back it off to the defense. Look at that. See, that's all it takes. That's all you got to do. Just put your stick literally on the ice. Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. So with two minutes and 15 seconds left, we are shorthanded. But we have a 100% uh, penalty kill in this game. So let's just keep that up. Cameron Westgarth can't get the faceoff win. Hodges over to Barkov, over to McDavid. And that was about as quick as third. What? That's about as quick of a power play. That's a, that's a pretty Edmonton Oilers power play right there. We score one second into the power play. I can't believe Connor McDavid has got three goals this year. That's kind of bonkers. He's still the captain. He only has three goals. How many assists does he have? 96? Big rig. Oh, that's what, like, yeah, yeah, okay. Like, superior net driving ability or something like that. I mean, our defense were, like, picking their asses, so it's not like they were watching what they were doing, but regardless, here we go. Down 2-1 to one with, like, two minutes left in the damn game. Oh, not who I passed to, man. Robertson walks in. Turikov's playing D. Brett Leeson, boof, takes on. I swear it's Dalton X will be, and Soderstrom holds the goddamn zone. Oh, Dubé back to Soderstrom in front to Robertson. Robertson takes the shot. That one hits a leg, and we're going back to the penalty box, apparently. Garrett Sterling throws that one up to Curtis Chapman, who has a little trouble controlling it, but he does still have it. Cuts in front. Big shot. That one he has a little trouble with. Hold on to her. Come on, Kurt. <laughs> and Robertson brings it down to Sasha Barkov. It's because everybody's dead. Barkov loses that one to Garrett Sterling, who's had a really good defensive stick tonight, man. I got to tell you. Tate Locke, my guy, loses control of that one before promptly getting it back. We got to go wholesale line changes here. Oh, man. As soon as I went to make that pass, I'm like, yeah, he's getting tied up. Nice little hit by Marty Cott in the final 10 seconds of this one. It's a three-on-two for Edmonton. And Yuri Turikov back again playing defense. Nice little block. Get the hell out of the way immediately. Time has expired, so a late power play goal for Connor McDavid wins the damn game for the Edmonton Oilers. Congrats, Ottinger. So what do we got? Shots 39 to 23 in favor of us. Julius Burke, again, one of the three stars in this one. We went 0 for 4. They went 1 for 3 on the power play. Shots on goal 12 to 7 in favor of the Sioux in the first, 17 to 10 in the second, and 10 to 6 in the third. We outshot them every period but we only got the one goal and it was Tate Locks 11th by Jermaine Trotter and Marty Cott so now we're gonna sim another three and let's see if we win another three in a row alrighty so here we are back at the main menu yet a flip again going up against the 24 27 and 8 uh, New York Islanders we're gonna put Caden Primo back in the net again Julius Burke he's, he's been decent enough but I, I think what I'm going to start trying to do for basically the rest of the year is maybe give him a rest every once in a while uh, and not just on the back-to-backs. Maybe play Primo more like 25 games, 25 to 30 games or something. So we got a 1-1 tie at the end of the first. Yuri Turikov again. He's been kind of on fire lately. Damn, the Islanders scored. But it's Braden Point in the second period and a 3-1 to one victory for the New York Islanders. Multiple losses in a row. Never what you want to see. All right. So, Yuri Turikov with goal number four now on the season by Rylan Austin. Not too damn shizabby, but you definitely don't want the loss. 
continuing on, we're taking on the Winnipeg Jets. Oh, wait, hold on. Colin Vandenbush and Anaheim's third round pick like a year from now for Peyton Krebs. What is his age now? He's an 83 overall third liner. Fits line two. I got no room for him on line two. That's the only problem. So we are going to skip that one. I like Peyton Krebs, but... uh, (laughs) So here we go. Caden Primo's out. Julius Burke is back in. Now let's take on the Winterpeg Jets. We're starting to get not as nice of a record as we had before. Still not bad at 37-21-2. We're still 6-4 and four in our last 10, but we are falling off a little bit. So let's hope to change our fortune against Winnipeg. 3 nothing for the Sioux, baby. Marty caught Jermaine Trotter and C-Mac with the goals. What do we got in the second? Jesus, 4-3. to three. <laughs> They got three back, and Curtis Chapman got one. In the third, oh, God, they tied it. All right, so in overtime, did we... (laughs) Nothing happened, so we're in the shootout. And after the shootout... Oh, we did get it. It's Willie Wallinder, what? What is he, like, shooter number 36? Uh, C-Mac with goal number 29 by Wallinder and Austin. Jermaine Trotter with just his seventh of the year by McGratton and Joseph. Marty Cott with number six by Locke and Grolo. Curtis Chapman in the second period gets number 13 by Lamb and Yokella. Before we move on to the, th- uh, yeah, that's right. Nobody scored anywhere. <laughs> it was just Wallinder in the shootout. That's it. So five to four win uh, again. Berkey didn't exactly do as well as I had hoped he was going to, but Miles Rintoul is available to play in the team's next game. But we're not putting him back there. We're not putting him out there yet. We're gonna wait until the next game, the day before the trade deadline, which is the next game we're jumping into. And then we are going to get through the deadline and everything else. So up against the Calgary Flames, it's one nothing after one. Gosh darn. All right, second period, still one nothing. Shots 23-17 to for Sault Ste. Marie. And in the third, it's a one. You know what? If you're going to lose, that's not a bad way to do it. one nothing. Julius Burke looked fantastic in that game. We are 38-22-2. But now we're going to be putting... Uh, Putting everybody back where they belong. Garrett Sterling can take over for Spencer Tam. We're going to put Miles Rintoul back on the ice. All right. So the next game, we're just, like, we have taken on like 15, 500 teams in a row. You know what I mean? Anyway, so we're going to get to the third period, and this is the third and final game we're going to be jumping into in this video in the first period. one nothing Sault Ste. Marie. Nick McGratton gets the lone goal. Shots 10 apiece in the second Oh, four to one. It's Wes Garth, Cott, and McGratton. Okay, I will see you guys on the ice for the third period of this one where, God, we better win. So this is definitely a better situation to be jumping into for the third and final game of this one, but we got a whole bunch of simuliating we're going to be doing after we get through this third period because we have like one more episode basically to get the regular season done might be a bit of a long one but we are going to get it done i got another special video for you guys coming out uh what's today today is tuesday so i got another special video coming out for you guys probably thursday it's probably going to be the next one that's an easy one and then after that yeah we gotta like get this regular season done for the Sault Ste. Marie Snow. Here we go, baby. Brosif cutting in. Look at these guys. Look at him. Look at him bobbing and weaving and stopping and starting and stutter stepping. The problem is he doesn't have the goddamn agility or the wheels to pull it all off. And you hear Kers Lake. Can't hold on to that one. Rintoul gets it around his own net. Whips it over to Nicholas McGratton. That was a horrible pass. Let's get control of this. Uayo Kella around the net. And he's stuck on his own net because that is just the worst thing that could possibly happen. And here's Jermaine Trotter. He's got the wheels. Oh, what a poke check by Tendi McWendy here. And it's just about time to get that what? To get that second line on the ice. Loses that one. Sillinger's got it. Bennett picks it up again. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Nice one. Maxime Grolo, use your wheels. I know you don't got a ton of them. Here we go. Whoop, big, <laughs> big deke. And Dostal's got to be sharp to make that save. Now it's time for that second pairing. And for whatever reason, our third line is partially... Oh, damn it. I just noticed that. Grolo's on the second line where Rylan Austin should be. And Rylan Austin had a playable injury. So the game's not allowing him to play. He's sitting on the bench. I, I really hate that the game does that. 
when they say like you know this guy's available to play in the team's next game and he has a playable injury if you jump into the game the game won't allow him to play because he has a playable injury for whatever reason so it's like you're playing down a man when it's like no he may be hurt but i want him to freaking play i don't want to be short-handed all night it's a great way to lose a game Maxime Grolo, ooh, tries hard, and Latowski pulls that one away. Come on, Timu, you got the wheels, buddy. Look at this guy. What a defensive play by Timu Curry. Gets it up to Maxime Grolo, over to Marty Cut. Oh, yeah, we're just going to start fumbling again. Here we go. Big hit thrown by Tate Lock, and Willie Wallinder gets himself a mile out of position. The problem is he only has 82 speed, so that's not fantastic. Tate Lock really has trouble with that one. All right, here we go. Through the neutral zone, Tate Lock. Get, uh, I tried to throw a pass, but it did not work. And here comes Steele for Columbus. Loses that one multiple times, and we're all stuck on nothingness. Through traffic, uh, Brett Leeson was uh, all tied up. And here comes Beastwood. Throws that one down the ice. We're approaching the 10-minute mark of this period. I'd love to put something in the net. This is probably the games that we've been jumping into have probably haven't been that goddamn exciting. We haven't really been scoring. So here comes Brandon Lamb. Big shot. Nice stop by Dostal. Oh, Brett Leeson. Oh, damn it, buddy. Stopped up. Uh, but Leeson couldn't take it away from Alsner. Here we go. Bellamy. Trying to get that one out. Ooh, we took it back. Brett Leeson. Come on, Leeson. You big pig. Nice shot. And that one actually trickled through the goaltender, but just did not have enough juice to make it all the way into the net. Nine minutes to go. Look at Garrett Sterling with these damn sticks. Like, this guy's such a beast. You just think, like... As a point man, you got such good sticks in your own zone, but terrible ones offensively. Brosif right in front. Oh, my goodness, with the fumbling. Turkov tries to get it across to Trotter, but he was cutting in the wrong direction. Trotter almost takes that one away, but Gallant takes it down. the. Is there a Gallant on every goddamn team in this game? Here comes Yuha Yokella. Throws, uh, Buddy throws that one wide. Yokella playing defense. Rintoul with a great defensive interception. Gets it up to Jermaine Trotter. Trotter. Back over to McGratton. Whoop, stopping up. Just got to find someone to go to. Miles Rintoul. Throws that one deep to Dale Joseph. Joseph, Jesus. Whoa. It is frustrating. Dale Joseph has Holmstrom coming into his own zone. McGratton, beautiful steal right along the boards. And here's Yokella. Back to Rintoul. Rintoul. Oh, takes a monster of a hit. Here comes Nick McGratton. Back feed to Jermaine Trotter. He still got it. Whoop, takes the shot. Big save by Dostal. There comes Dansk. Dansk coming down on Julius Burke. Takes a shot. Easy save by Berkey. Timu Curry could not take that one away. We're just trying to stay in front of our own net. Look at this guy. Nice interception by Curry. Curry gets it over to Wallinder, who has a little trouble with it. Gets it up to Tate Lock, baby. Tate Lock tries to get through everybody. Doesn't really work. Marty Cott still got that one, though. Circling back. Oh, right in front. Grohl! Oh, great chance. All right, knock this guy off this thing. Come on. Why won't this game let me hit anyone anymore? Like, it's very frustrating. <laughs> Another one. Nice takeaway. Wallinder pulls that one out. Grolo has trouble with it, but Cotter is there to pick it up. Uh, got no one to pass to. There we go. Whip it across. Oh, my God. Did he bat that out of the air? Dude, I think Maxim Grolo literally, like... Okay, Marty Cott sauces that one. All the way across crease, and I swear to God, Maxime Grolo just batted that puck out of the air. Let's take a look. Big sauce. Oh, I don't think that ever touched the ice. I don't think that ever touched the ice. Curtis Chapman entering the zone. Oh, my goodness. Um, no. That's not even close to what I just said to do. All right, Sillinger trying to take that one out of his own zone. Chapman takes it away from him, but Walker is bringing it into our defensive zone. Takes a nice shot. Big save by Berkey, and Chapman is there to pick that one up. Nice play by Leeson. It's like I knew we weren't going to get control of it, but it's like just knock it out. So they still have to they still have to tag up, right? Boynton back to Sillinger. Sillinger to the point. Bennett loses that one kind of. Not really kind of. Nice little hit by... Who the hell's 54 again? I don't know. Wallinder? Dale Joseph. What? <laughs> a strange combination of players we've had on the ice. Every once in a while. When everyone's like mid-change, you'll have like a third liner, a fourth liner, and a top liner on the ice for some reason. Nick McGratton. Oh, I tried to hit him. I just could. I just didn't line him up right. Here we go. Boynton walks in. Whoa! I think uh, Julius Burke got a little piece of that one. Jermaine Trotter's stick is on vacation. Oh, bad. Bad choice. Bad choice by me. Trotter. You got to start moving, buddy. You got 95 speed you, and, and agility and accelerometer. You, you got to do something. 
Sterling, knock it off him. We're just wasting time. Wendy Williams, can't do anything with that. It's back in the corner. Trotter knocks his man off at the big Latowski, and we're going to hold on, not give up a single goal after we jump into this third period. We even put one up on the board ourselves, and it's a big 5-1 to one wi uh, victory. <laughs> Shots 29-18 to 18 in favor of Suzanne Marie. We went one for two, they went over for one. So, shots 10 apiece in the first. We outshot them 11 to three in the second and eight five in the third. And look at that, Nick McGratton had a multi goal night. Number 19 by Joseph and Trotter and number 20 on the season by Rintoul and Trotter. Marty Cott got his seventh of the year in the second period by Maxim Grolo and Tate Locke before Cameron Westgarth got his 20th by Sterling and Yuri Turakov, baby. Oh, and in the third period, Maxime Grolo with the lone goal, his 19th by Marty Cotton, and Willie Wallinder. This team could end the season with like six 20 goal scorers, which would be kind of awesome. All right, so let's do it. Get back to the main menu. Uh, we are, you know what? It's our final season. I love this team. This is a good team. I, I think, well, first of all, we're going to put... Uh, Caden Primo in the net for the next game. But honestly, I think we're going to basically stick with what we got. We're going to say keep current trade block, and we're just going to continue simming. We're going to just skip the trade deadline. I like this team. I believe in this team. We have won a cup with a very similar team to this one before. We're going for cup number two. I have faith that we can pull it off, so I'm not doing a damn thing at the trade deadline. And one of the nice things about that, too, is now I don't have to re-edit all my lines because they didn't get all jumbly screwed. After the first, it is 1-0 for the Vegas Golden Knights on Caden Primo. That's less than premium. Now it's 2-0. Caden Primo facing a lot of shots, though. And in the third, oof, 6-3. He allowed five goals on 45 shots. Yokella, Trotter, and Austin got all three of our goals in the third period. That's okay. That's okay. So what ended up happening here? We got Rylan Austin with goal number 13 by Cameron McDonald and Cameron Westgarth before Jermaine Trotter gets number 8. By Cameron McDonald and Miles Rintoul and Yuha Yokella with goal number four by Miles Rintoul and Jermaine Trotter. So a big nasty loss, but I think we're going to be okay. So I honestly think what we're going to do here is we're going to sim like four games. We just simmed the one. And I think we're going to sim like three more. We're going to put Berkey back in there. Wienerberger and Poirier. Poirier, Poirier, isn't that how you pronounce it? I think it's pronounced like Poirier, something like that. I don't know. <sighs> anyway, here we go. Up against the Ottawa Senators, who are another team that's in pretty decent shape here. So we're going to sim Ottawa, Florida, and Philly, and then we're going to start the next episode by playing against the Rangers. So here we go. In the first period against the Sens, again, we're down one nothing, but we're getting heavily outshot, more than 2-1. to one. In the second period, Jesus Crow, it's 3 nothing Ardor, and that's bad. And in the third... <laughs> Four to one loss. Cameron McDonald gets our lone goal. Uh, it was his 30th. Wow, there you go. By Jermaine Trotter and Garrett Sterling. So at this point, I believe we have, yeah, 17 games to go this season. We're about to sim two more of them. Uh, key, uh, key prices, I don't care. Yeah, okay, great. Terrific. That's fantastic. So I'm thinking the Florida Panthers are basically the best team in the NHL right now. It kind of seems that way. <laughs> and we're taking them on, baby. So here we go. First period. I, oh, it's one nothing. Matthew Barzal for Florida. That's gross. After the second, it is two to one. Jack Eichel, Jesus, and Rylan Austin gets our goal. And yucky. Berkey lets in one more. The next goal was an empty netter. Rylan Austin got his 14th by Cameron Westgarth and Timu Curry, who's having a much better year than I thought he was going to have. But still, that's another loss in a row. But I stand by what I said. We're going to make the playoffs. We're still in a decent enough spot. We're like five points into a playoff spot or seven points or something into a playoff spot. So, you know, I, I've, I'm sticking with what I got. We're going to make the playoffs. And we're going to go deep. I promise you. We're going deep. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, this is the final game that we're going to be simulating in this uh, this episode up against the Philly Flyers. And they go up one, nothing after one. Oh, my goodness. Samuel Poulain. Three to one after two. It's Willie Wallinder. Maybe we were just due for a losing streak, I guess. I don't know. Four to two loss. Rylan Austin gets the second goal for Suzanne Marie. We got heavily outshot in that one. 
And the two goals we got were from Willie Wallinder with his fourth by Jermaine Trotter and Timu Curry and Rylan Austin's 15th by Yuha Yokella and Cameron McDonald. All right, so now what we're going to do, simly eight on ahead two days. We're still 39, 26, and two, but we're three and seven in our last 10 now. That sucks a lot. We're going to take a little stats look here, see how our team is doing, and I think I'm going to send Dundas down. <laughs> So Rylan Austin still leading the parade with 62 points. McDonald, 30 goals. There you go. Jermaine Trotter, still 54 points. He has 46 assists. West Garth, over 50 points. McGratton is likely going to have well over 50 points. Brosif could hit 50. Tate Locke, career year. Maxi Pad Grolo having a good year. Miles Rintoul's picking it up. Marty Cott's doing better than people think he is. And everybody's looking halfway decent on this team. Max Jones. God, I'm sad about Maxi Pad. Really sad that Max Jones is out for like the whole year. Julius Burke, 29, 21 and 2 with two shutouts, a 909 save percentage, and a 2.82 goals against average. Caden Primo behind him with a 12 and 6 record, 915 and a 2.73. And then look at Binder Dundas, man. One game, one win, 931 and a 2.00 goals against average. And I think something that is screwing us up a lot is the fact that Dundas is still up. Uh, in our system, we have a three goalie system that literally never works. So I think what I, the next thing I'm going to do is send him down and hopefully that makes us pick it, pick things back up again. Right. Anyway, that is going to do it for me for this one. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you haven't already, there's new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.